pictures are worth much more than a thousand words. But as breathtaking as it is, Missouri's native prairie gives us so much more. This is an ecosystem that literally created one of the most important underpinnings of the world economy today, the feeding of the modern world. From a global perspective, there are prairies all across Eurasia and in North America, but they differ very much in character. Wherever they are, though, these prairies have tended to be cut up and plowed and cultivated. They didn't realize the biological richness and integrity of this community. Prairies harbor a remarkable diversity, the, the botanical diversity that is found in prairies, and then the diversity of higher level organisms, the, the fauna. All of those things are out there doing something. They live in these complex interactions of feeding and decomposing. When I look at land, it isn't just property. It's a living organism, this water, the soil, and everything that supports each other. Like so many things in life, we're really beginning to realize the benefit of the prairies now that they're nearly all gone. Prairie is an original American landscape. More than one third of Missouri was once covered in tall grass prairie, interspersed with savannas and woodlands. Today, that original 15 million acres of prairie has been reduced to fewer than 90,000 acres. And they're disappearing very rapidly, and that really changes the whole natural balance of the whole northern hemisphere. We feel it's so important to gain an understanding of this threatened ecosystem before the last of it's gone. It's not just the grassland itself, it's the canary in our world that says there's things out of balance and we need to put them back into balance. Native Prairie offers bountiful ecological, wildlife, and economic benefits that can actually improve our quality of life. Prairie gives us so many, what we like to call ecosystem or ecological services. Prairies support at least half of the state's pollinator diversity. And without that, the reproduction of plants, and what that means to all the animals that depend on them, that would be broken. The water storage, the water filtration, the soil erosion prevention. You know, these grasslands have the ability to absorb up to an eight inch rainfall. Native plants can help create some of these stormwater management systems that contain stormwater and alleviate pressures downstream. So it alleviates flooding and alleviates erosion. Those are all things that we've come to learn and appreciate above and beyond the beauty and the biodiversity and the wildlife. The simple truth is that many environmental problems would be greatly reduced by returning abused land to its native condition. The amount of fertilizers that are going into our streams, much of that could actually be prevented by having strips or large areas that are surrounded by prairies. We're trying to come up with a way to generate revenue that really uses grassland and provides the ecological services that grassland provide. But realizing the benefits requires conserving what little original prairie remains, while also restoring more land with native plants from our prairies, savannas, woodlands, and other natural communities. Missouri Prairie Foundation was a grassroots organization founded in 1966, with the main driver being saving the remnant pieces of prairie that are still left in Missouri. We've lost the vast majority of native prairie, but because we recognize this loss, now there's this rebound effect that we're trying to preserve the remnants that we can find and afford, as well as establish or reconstruct prairies where, where we can, where it's appropriate. There is a real movement now toward the use of native plants and requirements um, on projects like LEED or sustainable sites projects where they're actually requiring the use of native plants. The Missouri Prairie Foundation protects remaining prairie and restores native grassland communities because prairie can provide irreplaceable benefits for future generations. The Missouri Prairie Foundation owns and manages prairie. It owns 16 different tracts of prairie, totaling more than 2,600 acres. But we've done a lot more than that. We've advocated 
for the purchase and protection of prairie by state agencies. We advocate for wildlife friendly policies, agricultural and energy policies. The Missouri Prairie Foundation is the only organization that's solely devoted to preserving these prairie fragments in Missouri. They will be kept for all time. They're being enlarged as the Prairie Foundation finds the means to do so. These can't be set aside as though they're in a museum. They're living organisms and in order for them to have a greater likelihood of adapting to future climatic conditions, it's important that we preserve the greatest number of individuals for these species, as many populations as we possibly can. I want people to understand what we have and what we're about to lose. We're not only preserving the grasslands, we're preserving our own existence within this planet. If we don't work really hard now, we're going to lose even more prairie. This is our opportunity to save prairie for future generations. There are many different ways that individuals can donate funds. We also have volunteer work days where people can have fun and learn about the prairie. The Missouri Prairie Foundation is a cost-effective, slim down, outstanding organization that can get the job done and keep it in fine shape develop it and improve it for the future. The Missouri Prairie Foundation invites you to explore our prairies and learn more about the benefits of native plants. We also welcome you to join us in our mission to save and restore precious prairie resources for your children and grandchildren. To learn more about the Missouri Prairie Foundation and how your financial support can help protect prairies, visit moprairie.org or call 888-843-6739.